Chapter 4, Sample Problem 1 Compute the force in each member of the loaded cantilever truss by the method of joint. Consider this picture. At first, we should calculate the external forces. We have two supports. Uh, one member supports and a pin supports which uh, reacts with X and Y load at point E and one member supports which replace with the tension T at point D. So at first we are going to provide a, a Free body diagram for the cantilever truss to calculate the external forces. Due to the external force calculation, we don't need at first show the show the internal members forces such as B, C, and D, C. So the body diagram, free body diagram for calculating external force can be sketched as this picture as we explained it for the pin support and air force one member support at D we replace the supports with its their forces at E we have two E two forces and at C we have a tension T which shown with a calculated angle. The angle can be calculated because each minute we have the 60 degree, 60 degree and this is the perpendicular and 30 degree here. It on this point. So at equilibrium, we have this relation sigma f x zero. Sigma F by zero or sigma M zero. We can start with the make an sigma M E equals to zero. So we have it. This is a perpendicular distance. So we have this relation T multiply clockwise considered to be plus T multiply to 5 minus 20 multiply to 5 minus 30 multiply to 10 equals to 0. 5t equals to 20 plus 60 newton kilo newton now we can calculate tx tx equals to T cosinus 30 T multiplied to cosinus 30 is It is approximately equals to 
four G multiply to T Y T C minus thirty. We can make a relation in x direction sigma fx the x direction tx and the y direction sigma f y t y plus e y minus 30 minus 20 plus to 0 T Y fifteen minus E Y T Y equals to ten ten kilonewtons. Now we obtain the external forces at the cantilever truss. We can start consider this picture again. We calculate T equals to EY approximately and LX 10 kilonewtons. We can start with point A. At point A. We have these forces. A B A C and three kilonewton at external forces. This this angle is sixty degree. At A, we have sigma Fx A, B, cosinus minus A, C, cos to 0, sigma F, Y, A, B, sinus 60, Minus thirty thirty Replace into this relation AC equals to <coughs> AB kilonewt. The force. So we have we obtained two forces here. This force and this force. Continuing with point B at point B we have these forces 
A, B calculated before and is in this direction. The direction should uh, must be the same that we suppose or assume it in the point A. So the force B D this force calculated A B is and the force B C with the angles sigma F phi B C C cosinus thirty minus cosinus thirty equals to zero. B C equals to Sigma F X equals to zero B C cosinus sixty plus B D equals to zero. B D equals to two multiply because these two force are equal. Let me provide the picture in the next page for ongoing calculation. We calculated for A and B. Now we can continue with point C. Point C we have a force here that we calculated before a force here force here and a force here an external force here 20 kilometers this force calculated before and also this force calculated before we have for C, D and C, E here C, D, C Sigma F X equals to 0 and Sigma F equals to 0 at first we can start with sigma f phi because c e is only in the x direction sigma f y equals to zero c d cosinus thirty minus cosinus 30 minus 20 equals to 0 cd cosinus 30 
plus 20 CD can be calculated and is kilometer. In the x direction, we can make a relation for calculating CE. Multiply to cosinus plus as this to as this to noun force plus C D cosinus minus C E C E can be calculated and is kilometer. So we calculated this force, this member, this member, this member, this member, and also this member forces. The only force that the only member remain is for DE. We can make our calculation on E or D. On E, point E. We calculated external forces before EX. E by C E calculated before and and D E D E calculated before no so we have de as the last member for calculating we can only make a sigma fy sigma fy equals to zero de sinus 60 equal minus 10 The last member for calculation. So we are we now calculate our member forces.